few ants, maybe some termites here and there, and the odd beetle or two that might be cruising around. And I feel sorry for whoever's in their path. They have a massive eye that is able to pick up all kinds of different um, things and they're able to see and look and as soon as that eye locks onto something they're in there and they're grabbing it so it is quite amazing how quick and agile they are at being able to find things or spot things and then get in there and feed off them so it's really cool to see but you can see how they're just waddling away from us slowly they birds that will never walk towards us in this particular area if you go into the kruger park these guys are actually somewhat of a nuisance because people have fed them and they've learned to get food from people and so they'll come running towards the cars and actually pick at the cars and they can be a bit of a handful that side but here that doesn't happen and so they're a little bit more wary and that's why they'll just ghost through the grass slowly kind of angling away from us but they're not too shy these guys are much better than some of the other ground hornbills that we see in the area I was actually talking to a ground hornbill researcher when I was on leave recently. He's busy. Oh, what's that one on the left got? That one on the left had something in its beak. I didn't see exactly what it was, but it looked quite big. It's busy got its head down feeding. Let's see if maybe it's going to toss its head up and we'll be able to see what it is. No. It obviously went down before we could see. But it looked like something big hanging out of the beak. Now, Megan, I can copy you now. Yes, thank you. Sorry, my earpiece, I've got the makeshift earpiece, so I've got the older one, and it unfortunately loses comms every now and then, so I can hear you loud and clear now, though, Megan, which is fantastic news. And <laughs> so I believe you all are welcoming Senzo back and saying that you love his socks. Well, it was the first thing that I saw today. I was very joyful to see Senzo's socks. They bring a bit of happiness into our life and certainly a bit of vibrance. So, Senzo, your socks are now famous and I love that you're wearing two different kinds of socks. That certainly adds to the edginess of your appearance today.